Hello, dear follower of Geometric Designs. I want to show you how to create custom gutter in your building. As you can see in this drawing here, I have my gutter, I have my water collector as well, but they are all customized. Then I have this second drawing I want to use as my sample. Yes, you can see it does not have a water collector and a gutter. So I am going to repeat the same thing I have here. I'm going to introduce it here. Doesn't mean that I'm going to have a gutter that looks exactly like this. I can choose a different profile. Now to do this, the first thing you do is move to your floor plan. Now you can see we are in the floor plan already. So I have this first building that has its uh, uh, water collector and uh, gutter. But this is the second one that does not have the water collector and gutter. And this is our sample drawing. So I have to draw a section line. Draw a section line through any point in the building so as to know what shape the if of the roof looks like so let's look at this section you can see what this section looks like this is the section this is the roof projecting from the mouth of the east slab so this is the spot i have to introduce the gutter to collect the water we also have this spot here already i have the profile drawn with line See, this is holy line. So, to create a custom gutter, what you have to do is to use line and design the profile. Use line and design the profile. You can do simple profile like you can use this kind of profile. You can use a profile that looks like this. This can be your profile. You can add other designs to it to make it look somehow different from being plain. But in this tutorial, I'm going to use this profile that I've already created with line. As you can see, it's a polyline. So with this profile already created with polyline, what you do is click on your fill and fill the profile. As you can see, I fill it. Now highlight the fill and cut it. Then move to your profile manager. You can see it here. If you can, if you don't have it on your board, just go to design. Just go to your design. You can see complex profile. You can see profile manager. So go straight to your profile manager. Then on this spot that has new, click on new and type in a new name, a name you want for your profile to have. If you call it got uh, zero. Zero, one. Click OK. Now you have a new drawing board. This new drawing board is the profile manager drawing board. It's the drawing board where you create a profile. So paste, right click and paste that profile you copied from your other drawing board. Look at it. Now drag it. Drag it at this spot. Drag it and take it to the hotspot. Look for the hotspot. Search for the hotspot. Look at it here. Then paste it there. Now that you have it, change the material of the profile. I could use a paint glossy white. Click on it. Now that it's done, just click on Start Profile. Now you can see the profile appear here. So exit this drawing board. Then go to your floor plan. As this is your floor plan. Start drawing the profile right around the building. But to do that, you have to go to your wall and reset your wall to complex profile. You have this as plain wall, but you have this one as complex profile. So click on this. Now, when you click on this, go to this spot and check for the name of the profile you want to create. Look at it here. Got a 001. I'll click on it. Moment you click on it, click OK. Click OK. Now, the question is which direction do you take when drawing this profile? Do you move clockwise or do you move anti clockwise? You can see the movement of the cursor. It shows anti clockwise movement. But if we go this way, it shows clockwise movement. Now, to know whether to move anti clockwise or clockwise, first thing you have to do, another thing you have to do is to 
visit your profile manager again and look for that profile. This got a zero one. Where is the position of the hotspot? The hotspot is located at the left side. If the hotspot is located at the left side, then you are going to draw the profile in anti-clockwise pattern. You have to take an anti-clockwise direction in the drawing. But if this hotspot is located towards it, then you have to draw it in clockwise direction. Take note of that. So let's start. We start from this spot. You can see my movement. I am moving anti-clockwise. You pick from this spot. Do it in 3D. You see what it looks like? Beautiful. Now we have to draw it on other parts of the building. Let's go back to our floor plan. Now to start here. At this point, let us take our section again because the one we drew is at higher elevation. The value of the wall at this point. The value of the wall at this point, the height, is minus 100. Minus 100. So, if we have this as minus 100, it is important we take the height difference of the upper roof level and the lower roof level. Let's go to our elevation. Let's take our south elevation. In this south elevation, you have this as the upper roof elevation. You have this as lower roof elevation. Let's use our Let's use a line first from this board to this board. And let's know the dimension. So you have 500. It means that this upper level is higher than the lower level by 500. So take note of this height difference. Let's go back to our floor plan. Now let's take these uh, the settings for these uh, customer gutter. The height, the height of the build-up set is minus. 100. If it is minus 100 and the difference between this level and this other level is 500, it means that we are going to subtract 500 from this minus 100. That should give us minus 600. In that case, the roof, the, the gutter of this lower level will be at minus 600 base offset. So change it to minus 600. Continue. As you can see, it has just disappeared to a lower level. So let's go down to the linter level and check for it. If it appeared there. Oh, of course, it appeared here at linter level. So use pick parameter, pick up parameter, and pick the, car, the properties. And then transfer it to the other side of the building. Let's see what it looks like in 3D. Beautiful. Now the next thing to do is to install the, the down pole. That is this material here. So to do that, you go to the library and pick and put it right around the building.
Let's go to our ground level. The ground level you can see it here. As if you can reset it. Change the setting, okay. But I'm losing it. Where's my hand? See what it looks like. That's it. So you can repeat this process right around the building wherever you want to fix this uh, water collector channel. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. As you log out of this video, please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching.